Manifesta is the European nomadic biennial originated in the early 90s in response to geopolitical, economic, social and cultural changes following the fall of communism and subsequent steps towards European integration and disintegration. Manifesta 12 explores coexistence in a world moved by invisible networks, transnational private interests, algorithmic intelligence environmental crisis and ever-increasing inequalities. It looks at this world through the unique lens of Palermo, a city at the crossroads of three continents in the heart of the Mediterranean, closely collaborating with Palermitans Manifesto 12 co-inhabits Palermo as an ideal place to investigate the challenges of our time and to experiment with traces of possible futures. Now let's take a look at the Orto Botanico or Botanical Garden of Palermo, which has been chosen as a central location for Manifesto 12.
interesting and by looking around I just realized you know and this makes me think about a massive shipwreck a massive shipwreck where people have lost everything you know people have lost you know their paintings have lost their the their precious pieces of jewelry and even toys for kids like these little dinosaurs here also something that makes me think a lot is these two bags like old style bags and uh, they are like wrapped into these ropes and they make me think about like your dreams your broken dreams even books here look there are books this also makes me think about the fact that these people are running away from war and um, they are leaving education, school, they have no access to internet, they have no access to books and they have lost everything. See, there are like toys and they are like inside cages and it seems like there's dreams, there's childhood, there's behind cages. Yeah, by looking at this place I really think about a shipwreck and it makes me really sad. Manifesta 12 is about coexistence and it's about living together with other people from different parts of the world and we often complain about our situation but if we really think about what these people must have gone through and what these people go through really you know touches my heart and it makes me more aware of what happens you know and um, the fact that we are all children of God and we are all human beings and that um, I have no right to to have a good life when people are dying in the in another part of the world.
So this tree is a papaya tree. So this piece of art is called the Gardener's Revenge. So the materials used for this are wood, glass, bottles, found material, petrol, water, ink, and even ink. So it's, there's a lot of material involved and it's quite interesting to see and it makes me think a lot. say contemporary art is very personal to interpret and so my interpretation of this makes me think about people fighting the world people not respecting you know the nature people not keeping our planet clean so it makes me think about a lot of things and it's definitely worth coming here so if you get a chance to come to Palermo till November you have a chance to come here and go around this beautiful botanical garden which is probably the biggest botanical garden in Europe so definitely if you have a chance to come here please come here and check it out this installation here is called foreign farmers seeds are by definition migrants capsules for the transport of genetic information on the other hand the recent climatic transformations make every farmer a weather sedentary a, f a foreigner and the post Anthropocene era where we are all inhabitants of a foreign time. We are all foreign farmers. In Palermo, this decayed, long collection of seeds and stories grows into an experimental garden of cohabitation. The artist built a pergola in the space of former colonial garden at Orto Botanico, where the Sicilian cucuzza tweets its homologues cultivated by migrant farmers in Palermo, Tuscany, or the Po Valley. The construction of a hybrid pergola overturns the historical significance of this space. Acclimatization is no longer a fact imposed by the colonial power, but a process that is natural. By contrast, the rooms of the gymnasium house, a sort of chamber of wonders, the result of recent fled work by Contini on foreign agricultural practices on Italian territory. A pictorial culinary mobile device a relational vector conceived through a collaboration with the artist and street actor Cho Sher Shah will be in transit between the former colonial garden and the gymnasium with the possibility of crisscrossing the universe. I must say space. that I'm really enjoying my visit to the botanical gardens today and uh, I think this project is very cool and I think this, you know, the very fact that I came here has opened my mind in many, many ways. It's unbelievable, but it's true. Seeds are, you know, capsules like migrants by definition. And we often, you know, time, we are like against other cultures, we are against other languages, we are against other people, but we are eating their food. We are, we have genetic connections with other people, with other places that are like so far away from us, but yet they belong to us in a way. So. Wow, this is, this is a very, very, very unique experience. I highly recommend you to come here to the Botanical Garden in Palermo and to join Manifesta, Manifesta 12. Such a great, great, great exhibition. I'm enjoying so much walking in this beautiful place with beautiful trees. And uh, yeah, this is also a great place to, to come to, to have a break from, from the city stress, you know from the city routine and all these crazy things.
So Zheng Bong from China made a video and uh, this video explores the potential of eco-queer seven young men walking into a forest in Taiwan and engage in an intimate contact with ferns. They make love with the plants, sensing each other's textures, aromas and pleasures. They rely on bodies rather than language to initiate effective relations. I didn't get to watch the video all the way through because I found it somewhat boring, you know. But the meaning behind it, you know, it's kind of interesting, you know, but you gotta be very open-minded to understand the concept that is behind this. Um, because making love is an international thing, you know, making love doesn't see, like when it comes to love, there are no boundaries, there, there are no languages, love is love, and we all need love. So, and uh, the author is also saying that people would uh, behave in a better way on this planet, and I agree with this, you know. I think that we should definitely love each other more instead of fighting against one another. Bye.